right, so in the last video, we finished up wiring our 110 volts circuits uh, from our three main fuses. Uh, we also switched out the fuses with uh, circuit breakers for those of you wanting to do that. Uh, so now continuing on, today we're going to concentrate on wiring up our 48 volt power supply. So I'm going to run power to each of my three fuses and then from the fuse to the stepper motors, drivers, and then also a ground to each. Now in preparation for this step, I went and made up some jumper wires. Uh, these are power wires that are feeding each of my three fuses. And I went ahead and labeled these numbers, uh, these wires, and I just put it on a crimp-on. What I did was I soldered the three together and then slid the crimp-on over that and crimped it. And that is going to connect to our fuse. This is our capacitor coming out of our transformer. This transformer is 110 volt AC to 48 volt AC and then it goes through a rectifier, turns it into DC, up to a capacitor, and then out the capacitor it goes through this 15 amp fuse. Uh, I probably don't need the fuse, but it's already here. It came with the power supply, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it. And so I'm just going to slide my spade connector onto this fuse, maybe. There we go. Okay. Uh, the first fuse is for our X stepper driver and it's wire number 163. So I'll just find the wire labeled 163 here. And I'll connect it to my fuse. Now these fuse holders, they come with 10 amp fuses, so you got to pop these out and replace them. Uh, in my case, with a 5 amp fuse for my stepper driver. And to do that, you just kind of twist the fuse like so. It has these little tabs, so if you stick it in between the tabs and turn it. I don't know if you can see these little tabs right here. But if you stick it in between the tabs and turn it pops it in. It also has a light inside here and if the fuse is blown the light will come on and let you know that that fuse is blown. So we'll just run one wire number 163 here. I'm also using 16 gauge wire. You can use solid core. Uh, this is stranded. Uh, so I went ahead and tin the end. So I don't get any fraying. We'll just stick that in the fuse holder here. Maybe. Okay. Alright. Same thing for our Y. And our Y is wire number 165. Okay. Our next is our Z. And our Z is wire number 167. That takes care of the wires going to our fuses over to our transformer. So let's take a look at that. And over here. 
Okay, so now that we have power going to our fuses from our 48 volt power supply, now we need to run from the other side of our fuse down to our power connection on our stepper drivers uh, from each fuse. So what I did was I went ahead and made up some wires to do this. Uh, this is again 16 gauge. Uh, this was stranded so I went ahead and tinned the ends. Now our first wire that we're going to run is 163 and that's going to go to our X axis stepper drivers. Come out the top of our X fuse here. Okay. And then over to our stepper voltage. Now these, on my particular one, they, these pop out on my particular drivers. And this second pin here is for our voltage. I'm just going to screw that in. And that will go just like so. One sixty-three. Let me see if I can get a shot of this so you can see. I'll try to do a better job on my leg wing. But you can see there's the voltage. The top one's ground. The next one is volts DC. And then U, V, and W go out to the stepper motors. We'll be connecting those later. So that's the other side of the X fuse going over to our voltage plus on our stepper driver. The next one is 165 and that's going to go for our Y axis. Goes to our Y fuse here. And again, our second terminal here. Okay. Takes care of Y. And our last one is 167, and that goes to our Z motor. So we're connected now. I have my already labeled 167. Again, the second terminal there. All right, so now we have brought our 48 volt power over to each one of our stepper drivers. Now this power, this 48 volt, actually runs the motors. The reason that we didn't just bring one power wire over from our transformer and then jumper it is because you want each motor to have equal access to the power. Uh, and it's better to run it back to the source than to jumper it from each motor. I've seen a lot of people just run power over to one stepper driver and then they jump her over and jump her over but really the best way to bring it is bring it back all all the way back to the source of the power and you get a better distribution and then that way each motor has an equal opportunity to draw upon the full current that you have available so let me get a shot of this okay And we can put our fuse holders back on. So we have X. And 
Z and Y. And again, these are 5 amp fuses. And yours may be different depending on the uh, stepper motors that you're using. Now, now that we have power ran, the next thing to do is we need to run we need to run our neutral from our transformer power supply over to each stepper driver. Now you can daisy chain these and I will be doing that. So what I did was I made up some jumpers and I went ahead and tin the ends of them. The top connection, excuse me, is for the ground. Okay, and then this wire number is 166, and I've went ahead and labeled it 166. Okay, make sure the connections are secure. Now this wire needs to run back to our uh, neutral side of our capacitor. So we'll run it in our cable wise way right here. Again, this is 16 gauge uh, stranded. Now what I want to do here, what I want to do is here is I want to solder this connection. Uh, I could use a spade connector. But I think I'll just solder it. Make for a nicer connection there. I'm going to use a piece of uh, small heat shrink tubing here. Slide over the wire first. And I'm also going to label this. This is 166. Looks good. And then I bring my heat shrink down. Just kind of cover that up. Alright. No. Okay. Okay. So now we have our 48 volts powers to our stepper motor drivers connected. So we're going from our transformer over to our fuse. We're going through our fuse up to each of the stepper drivers. And then we also have our ground going back to our 48 volt power supply. So thanks for watching the video. Please feel free to comment if you have any questions. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Please subscribe. And most importantly, be safe.